creating a volumetric mesh from a polygonal surface object using the Iowa meshing module in Slicer 3 is done by using an interactive technique called building blocks. We will demonstrate that here in this video. First we load a source file. You can select when you have Slicer here you select the, the modules and go to Wizards IAFE Mesh and you have you're presented a series of tabs surfaces to load and edit building blocks, meshing, mesh quality, materials. In general we work from the left side to the right side as we're going. Since we're talking about loading a surface and building building blocks this during this video we'll take surface menu, the surface tab, and we'll say load and uh, we can load files in either STL format or VTK format. So we'll select an STL file. You can select the type down here. We'll load that. This is the phalanx bone from the finger as an example. And uh, if you want to edit it to change colors or some of the display properties, over here is the View, uh, view Properties tab. You can click on this View Properties and it brings up a dialog box and allows us to change the color of the surface. We will just uh, leave it white for now. Since we've loaded the file, we'll move to the right and Building Blocks and we'll allow to create some building blocks. We'll create a block. I usually use the uh, Accept This Create Self Block from Surface Bounds. We apply that so we have a a block that contains the whole object and we want to edit the block to follow the profile of the object more closely. So we come over here to create, we change that to edit and then um, we're allowed to do things like we're presented these operations. We can um, turn this editing on and see how we're presented with handles that we can drag the corners to fit the box better. We're also presented with a split um, object where we can split, click with the left mouse, then click with the right mouse to split it in half. And there's other more complicated uh, editing operations in terms of reflecting, mirroring, or adding, or subtracting. We're going to just split this, and then we're going to go back to the edit. And editing can work on an individual node, like this. It can work on a face, if you just click inside the face and it drags this whole face up here. Or you can click on a line and then drag this the line up. Okay, so We'll do that with this one. We'll take this line here and drag it down. Move this line here and drag it in. And then we'll come down over here. Take this one and drag it down close. And then if we look down here, here just for a variety we'll drag the individual node corners. Our goal is to sort of shrink wrap around the object so that these points are relatively close to the object that we want to mesh and relatively symmetric around it. It is okay for the object to stick out a little bit from the from the handles. Okay, let's assume this is good. We sort of surrounded the building box around the object that we have. And we'll save this step and then in the next video we'll show you how to create this from here. We'll take this one in fact we're done with this one. We'll close the editing panel and we're going to save this building block uh, for use later on. And you can save it, give it a file name, just apply, and it gives you a place where you can save the file in VTK format. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you enjoy the use of the Iowa, Iowa meshing module in Slicer 3.